testing, test mic, test one, two, three. US key vision, wide angle and macro lens for Sony ZV-10 camera. Oh. User manual, okay, this is a WLZ-10, basically it's an adapter. So let's check it out. Oh yeah, one cloth. Quite heavy as well. So for this kit lens, came together with the Sony ZV-E10 which is a 16 until 50, uh, 16 to 50mm. It's roughly 131 gram, okay, 132 gram. And for this one, it's more heavier, 156 gram. Okay, so basically this one is more heavy than this one. So if my Tamron, okay, let's just try. Tamron 11 to 20 is 394 gram. 394 grams so basically this one is more heavier lah. so this is a zoom lens that i purchased for my sony zve 10 that time when i purchased together lah. Uh, this one is quite pro a little bit it's a f2.8 11 20 okay when you zoom that time it won't go from 3.5 until 5.6 lah. so it's basically it stays at 2.8 but today in these videos ha uh, thank you very much at the first thank you very much that us key vision this company uh willing to send me this product for review actually for this one is quite convenient for all those that don't mind about shooting at night or you all basically got lighting don't even care about aperture uh, you all can use this lens just open out and then just attach these things like this song 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 twist counterclockwise at the bottom to open out the cam okay so basically at this section right here this one is a macro and then at the front right here another section just open this one is a wide angle lens between these two sections you still can open at the middle to become a macro and then you just attach it like this and now it's become a real game changer ha. example like the 16 millimeter when you attach this one equals to 11 millimeter i'm not sure if not mistaken okay slightly like this it will become more wider so you no need to bring out this tamron the big lens what you need to do is just attach this lens to your zve 10 like this huh? and then if you want more wider you just put this inside and then if you don't want more wider you just can take it out and then if you want macro it's become macro steady guys and for my opinion if you ask me should i get these things even though this tamron 1120 is already at my hand i also need this lah actually because they got a macro and also it's convenient sometimes when you want to go out very very fast no need to headache about bringing two lenses this is a choice for you all the only things is this you cannot adjust until 2.8 this one is following by the original kit lens which is 3.5 and then when you attach the wide angle actually the color it didn't make much different as well it's the same the brightness maintains the same which is actually it's more heavy heavy so now let's just go to try and see okay let's just go to try and see so there are a few things that i don't like and i like about sony rx series first thing is the mark 5 you see iso 400 and then turn the aperture into 2.2 first thing is you cannot change the microphone ah there's a built-in microphone and, but the good thing is compact uh, compact and also they got the ND filter as well. Let's just try to switch to the ND filter turn on Wah. <laughs> And then turn off Okay, for the ZV-10, there's no built-in uh, ND filter uh, This one Just purchased but today <laughs> I'm not gonna using this one. This 50mm. I'm gonna use back the a hey, this 30mm. This is a 30mm Sigma I'm gonna switch back to my original lens i'm gonna vlog with this kit lens today at my video 16 to 50 uh, i got a tamron as well but today i'm gonna use this and then what i'm gonna tell you in this video actually is this one these things this thing is typically made for sony zve 10 kit lens uh, for this kit lens very easy to attach at the front right here just open and then at the back right here this and then between this section you can still open if you want macro
this is macro and this one is a wide angle like this it's quite heavy kit lens let's just try and see before and after the footage quite nice also right now i'm switching back to my sony kit lens which is i'm using this right now is a sony zve 10 without attaching this one uh, i'm going to show you all the special things about these things okay can save you all a lot of money actually for these things they got an the advantage and disadvantage as well now it's like this i'm currently switching to the 16 millimeter and when you attach this one see stand it oh my god i'm impressed guys i'm impressed okay Right now, it's just only this adapter, wide angle adapter. You save a lot of money actually. So the pros and cons for this adapter actually is not about this adapter. Uh, it's about the kit lens. The kit lens is when you're using the 11mm, it gives you the aperture which is 3.5 and when you zoom until the 15mm, it's 5.6. That's what I don't like about this kit lens. But if you're usually shooting vlogging at the morning, got sunset or like this, except night, actually for this adapter, is very worth for you all. Lah, huh? You can just set your ISO to more higher and then just use the 16mm together with this US Key Vision wide angle lens. Now, it's like a Tamron. It's already like a 11mm. See, special. With my hand, I put around 1 meter like this. Huh? See, so wide. And then if I put more nearer, Still can look at the side right here. Ah, so if I take out this adapter right now, you guys see, ah, it's a little bit hard for us to do vlogging with the kit lens actually. If you want filming yourself, ah, like this. And if my hand put around one meter, like this, see, it's still very narrow. Actually, it's not suitable lah. for this kit lens. If you want to do a vlogging, actually, it's quite hard a little bit. Lah. Another thing I forget to mention, ah, with the recording just now, I'm using the steady shot, guys steady shot so if you turn off steady shot i'm gonna show you all with the adapter detached right now no steady shot so you get more wider but it's also very narrow for the kit lens and if i attach this one you see the white you all guys see the white angle yeah you all guys see the white angle holy see ha <laughs> so first thing if you are using the kit lens Still, you need to walk in and then you need to turn on the steady shot. Actually, for the kit lens, 1650 actually is not suitable. Okay, because when you turn on the steady shot, your video will become cropped a little bit. But for this one, actually, it's very good. Lah. At least when you turn on steady shot that time, when it cropped that time, you still can get a wider angle. So now, let's just turn on the steady shot with the adapter attached. See how man, I'm holding two cameras right now. See, see, ah, like this. Okay, my hand is around like this, one meter like this. See the white with the steady shot on. Ah, at least you still can vlogging. Ah. So what our mission today? Let's heading to find some food, Nyonya food at Lunas. Is it Lunas? Sungai Karangan. Ah. Let's just continue right there and test our footage. Six and a half hours later. Oh, no! Okay, okay. Hello. 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 So, right now, we are at Lunas, this Baba Leong. Gonna test about this US Key Vision, this adapter. using 4000 ISO uh, 
that's the only thing so if you use wide angle lens example like uh, Tamron 11-20 you'll get 2.8 so you'll get more brighter for this one you need to pump up the ISO because I'm shooting on 50 frames per second one per hundred double up the frame rate so it's okay lah So if you ask me about the opinion, is it worth buying it? Definitely yes. Okay, safe space. The only problem is if you're using this, you must use the kit lens and the lowest is uh, 3.5 aperture. Other than that, this thing is worth the price. Lah. If you all doesn't consider uh, for buying another extra wide angle lens, this is a choice for you all. Whew. Not bad, you guys. So as I told you all just now, lah, I tried this WLZ pen by US Key Vision. Actually, it's quite not bad. Also, it's worth the price for you all to try. So maybe the next things I will try to shoot some uh, macro and then just upload at my Instagram. You all can check it out my Instagram at Adrian Low Deja Vu as well, huh? That's all for these videos that I want to tell you about this US Key Vision WLZ 10. WLZ 10, ah, huh? remember, ah. Huh? I see you all at my next gadget review. Adios.